Oh, she's got that look in her face. Oh, yummy, yummy. His favorite. I wonder if you guys can guess what Bobcat's favorite is. Right, good morning everyone. Um, so today, I'm gonna to be taking Bobcat and Gabby out on a walk. Um, it's been a while since I've taken the two of them and uh, I can see you all thinking uh, there's gonna be a lot of screaming and shouting. No, Gabby, Gabby, no. Um, hopefully not because I'm gonna try and offload in a way that uh, prevents Gabby from having any access to the tires. It's becoming quite expensive fixing tires or buying new tires after Gabby decides that uh, she's gonna make a, a tutoy of them. Always excited about walking. You miss my foot. Mm -hmm. oh. Alright, it's just the easier way of getting into this area with Bobcat and Gabby is through the night pin, otherwise I just get bowled over when I get in. Come! <laughs> Come! Whoop! Whoop! Okay. <laughs> Hello, my boy. <laughs> Come, yeah. Alright, well that, that doesn't work well because we need him out and we need her in first. So we'll have to let him get over his rubs and sniffs and then we'll get him out and then we'll get her in. Yeah, Bobcat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Get. It's going to be a first, but I think she might because he's absolutely distracted. Yeah. He's not really interested in the food, which is the reason why for the first time I think ever and she stuck her butt on the gate the first time ever I've loaded I think Bobcat first and Gabby second <laughs> guys that's really really interesting because normally Bobcat is really not impressed by the spotties and today um, Actually, he was pretty chilled about it, which was pretty cool. A little bit of disappointment in their faces as they think that they are only moving in enclosures and not going on a walk. We're going on a walk, don't you worry. Yeah. Okay, come Gabs. Let's go. Come. Good girl. All right, so now we're just gonna walk them through this area and then we're gonna let them out into the bigger area and let them go for a walk. Okay, someone's coming running. Gabalicious. Hopefully she doesn't knock me down. There we go, my girl. Time for walkies. Oh, uh -uh. down. Yeah, we can go. Come, Bobcat. Oh, yeah, boy. He's too busy exploring. Should we wait for him? Come, come, let's go. Come, come on. Come, Gaps. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Free. Cross the line. Cross the line. <laughs> uh, she won't venture too far because she's waiting for her honey bun. Here he comes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. You thought it was all over, eh? Yeah, you thought it was all over. 
You didn't realize we're going on a walk. Oh, Whoa. the most vocal lion on the planet. Hello, my boy, look, look, freedom. Oh. <laughs> This is a completely new route for Mr. Big today. <sighs> Smelt something. Oh, yummy, yummy. His favorite. <laughs> I wonder if you guys can guess what Bobcat's favorite is. No prizes for you guys guessing. Should we, should we see if you knew the answer? So did you? Did you guys guess? <laughs> I think you all, yeah. 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 Bobcat. Yeah. Hello boy. I'm just keeping my wits about me because uh, one needs to expect at any moment a sprightly over middle aged lioness come running down the road and jumping on me because she hasn't done that yet and that is her favorite thing in the whole world. Look at that cute bum. Still very dark on the behind of his legs if you can see that and just on his hamstrings there and his mane is black 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 so bobcat is still in magnificent condition really he is oh now he's really having fun oh 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 bobcat look at you Listen to those noises. Oh, here comes trouble. Maybe she acts like nothing's going on. Gabs, oh, come, <laughs> sneaky, sneaky Gabby. Rolling session over, back on the move. Lines on the move. Okay. Oh, she's got that look in her face. He's such a cow. What a cow. She gives him such a hard time. I'm surprised. He's so patient with you, Gabs. Hey? Why is he so patient with you? Blackjacks for Africa. Right, I think we all know what Bobcat is chasing. We have a very vocal bongo. He's teasing Bobcat.
All right, guys, so you know what still perplexes me to this day? Um, as you know, many of you all know, I've been working with these large carnivores for 22 years now. And one thing that still boggles my mind is how I'm sitting here with Bobcat and Gabby on this side of the fence. There they are, Bobcat and Gabby. And then on that side of the fence is the seven hyena boys. We refer to them as the seven hyena boys. I have a relationship with all of them. It, maybe not Egypt so good. Egypt and me have a, a history of um, clashing, locking horns, so to speak. But uh, be that as it may, I mean, still a, a decent enough relationship with seven spotted hyenas. Now, as I stand before you filming this video, hyenas we know are not stupid, uh, but they see and hear Kev here with Gabby and Bobcat. And I wonder what they must think. I think they must think, has Kevin gone loopy? And look at them. They really, really get worked up. Huge focus. Okay. And then Bobcat and Gabby see me with the hyena, smell the hyena on me, but do nothing. So it's like, they, they don't seem to register, oh, Kevin's been a traitor. Or why isn't Kevin going after those lions? Or why aren't those lions going after Kevin? Um, and it's always just perplexed me. And it's the same thing with the lions, actually. It's not, it doesn't just go uh, down to the hyenas. Um, because when other lions see me with other lions, they get worked up. But yet they don't do anything. It's almost like when your dog smells other dogs on you. He doesn't hold it against you. Um, or if your dog sees you with an, another dog, he also doesn't hold it against you. So it's almost like this animal, uh, it's built into them um, to not react to that. So they, they, they are affectionate and bonded with who they're with. So their group, their, their clique. And that includes me in, in the respect of cliques, the clan, the hyena clan. So I'm the eighth kind of clan member and I'm the third pride member and it's almost as though yeah they're cool with that here's a, a homo sapien a human who is with the lions but then these lions will not accept their own kind amongst themselves which doesn't make sense Gabby hey Gabs it doesn't make any sense to me you know that that you would do that Hello, big boy. He's my boy. He's my boy. Oh, I can't believe my boy. Have you had enough? Is Bobcat getting old? Guys, I think Bobcat's getting old. Who's oh, my boy? So this is what I'm talking about, guys. A lion with such um, an attitude or such a personality like Bobcat. And yet he's so accepting of his bipedal friend um, it's incredible it's exactly like when two lions in the bush two males at least are always head bumping and head rubbing they're reaffirming their bonds and bobcat he, you know he always he always greets you with a head bump and that's that's a really wonderful um, it's a really wonderful thing because that's how lions obviously reaffirm their bonds. Hey boy. They reaffirm their bonds and they it's all about this touching and affection. So that's my kind of um, version of a head bump. Just kind of touch him on his cheek there, um, which stimulates his glands. Here comes Gabby. She's also going to come and lie down in the shade. All that's left to say is from uh, Bobcat. 
Gabby and myself. Until next time here on Landless TV. Bye.